with the recent launch of Windows 11. Microsoft has also announced their new set of flagship devices including Surface Pro 8, Microsoft Laptop Studio as well as the improved and new version of Surface Pro X. I personally own a Surface Pro X uh, from two years ago which was launched on uh, 22nd of October 2019 and I think it's the time for me to uh, upgrade my device uh, and these are the devices that I was talking about so let's dig into uh, comparing Surface Pro X with Surface Pro 8 so that uh, we can see the benefits of owning one uh, over the other so I'm going to just compare these two devices on one hand we have starting at uh, $1,099 is the Surface Pro 8 and on the right hand side we have Surface Pro X the starting price of it is $899 uh, so yes Surface Pro 8 is a bit more expensive scenarios that Surface Pro uh, 8 uh, will be mostly used it's a powerful pro for multitasking and intensive workloads uh, plus a console style gaming uh, it's a best fan experience and most advanced display on a pro and the other one uh, surface pro x is like more mobility and uh, streaming and watching netflix kind of pc when comparing dimensions everything seems the same but there is a slight difference of 0.37 more size of screen uh, than compared to 0.28 of surface pro x on the display side, uh, Surface Pro 8 uh, clearly is a winner because it has 13 inch pixel sense flow display, uh, 120 uh, hertz of refresh rate and then we have GPU ink acceleration, Dolby Vision support etc. Memory, Surface Pro 8 is a winner again because it offers up to 32 GB LPDDR4 RAM. On the processor side, they are non-comparable because uh, Surface Qualcomm were cooperating when they produced Microsoft SQ1 and Microsoft SQ2 chip two years ago. Uh, SQ2 being the latest uh, chip which was launched in 2021, second quarter. And these two were launched in, I think, the third quarter of 2020. Uh, so more or less they are aging the same uh, but then uh, these are different platforms you can uh, have these devices on. On the storage part we got 128 GB up till 1 terabyte uh, in case of Surface Pro 8 uh, when it is only until 5 12 GB in case of Surface Pro X. Uh, battery life is 16 hours compared to 15 hours of Surface Pro X when uh, since it doesn't have LTE so there is no comparison in case of Surface Pro X LTE advanced when it is open uh, battery will also go until 15 hours of use uh, on the graphics side we got Iris X graphics and then in the Surface side we got Adreno uh, connections we got Thunderbolt, uh, we got headphone jack which are missing from here. On the Microsoft Surface Pro X side, we got a nano SIM card slot which is not the option in Surface Pro 8 uh, home version. But yes, it is the option when you buy a business laptop which will be launched in early 2022 and I can't wait uh, until then so I'm just gonna get my hands on to this uh, device anyway okay security we got the same thing in a different order so that users can be confused or something but yeah this is no difference here in case of camera we got uh, a little different here which is Dolby Atmos in this we have Dolby sound uh, audio sound uh, so I don't know which one is the better one but this is the little difference here in case of software uh, we got Windows 11 home it was also Windows 11 home but was on ARM chip the biggest advantage when it comes to software side of Surface Pro 8 is the um, capability to run 64-bit apps that was missing and is still missing to this day 
uh, on the Surface Pro X side. Comparing Wi-Fi or wireless, Bluetooth is also 5.1 technology and in this one it is only 5.0. Not a big difference but just to know in case. Um, here the biggest advantage of Surface Pro X choosing over the Surface Pro 8 is having to put your SIM card inside it and no need to worry about Wi-Fi because it has um, Gigabyte LTE Advanced Pro inside uh, Surface Pro X. Um, so again network is LTE Advanced when in Surface Pro 8's case there is none. Exterior we got uh, two colors uh, here which is graphite and platinum. Graphite seems to be a bit less smudgy or uh, which will collect a bit less fingerprints when compared to uh, matte black color of Surface Pro X. Warranty is the same, there is no difference at all. Weight, uh, Surface Pro 8 got a bit of weight so which is 1.96 uh, lbs or pounds or 1.7 in case of Surface Pro X. Not a lot but just to know since it has a fan design and Surface Pro X is a fanless design. Sensors are the same other than ambient color sensor so it says it will balance the picture uh, quality when you are making a video or talking on the video conferences. In the box, we got everything same other than here, which is which was provided with the Surface Pro X SIM card access tool LTE only. Um, so yeah, this came with the or comes with the um, model that has LTE connection built in. Uh, other than that, everything else is the same, and these are the accessories that one can attach. So this is the end of my review and I hope you liked it uh, and I would see you in the next video in which probably, hopefully, we will be unboxing Surface Pro 8. I'm not ditching Surface Pro X but I'm just saying that I need to upgrade it and we'll be unboxing it in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.